Welcome to another Stalker Gamma Guide. I'm Base Bellagio. Today we're going to talk about how to progress in this mod pack. It is a little difficult for some people, including myself, to get off the ground running, we'll say. And this guide will help you. We're going to be looking at Aldorian's comprehensive chart of many prioritized anomaly tasks and progressions for Gamma. He made this. It's called a company. And you will be looking at this throughout the video and I will cut in some footage and some gameplay. The whole idea is you pick a faction in Stalker Anomaly and most of these factions will have a similar start in terms of progress. You want to establish a headquarters and this is separate from the hideout that you can build. In Stalker Gamma you could build hideout equipment and turn anywhere into a little hideout. This is separate from that. Early game, you just want to either buy a backpack from a local trader and make it into a stash or use an existing stash in the game. None of the stashes you will lose items if you store in. So if you're in uh, the Stalker Village, the early game area in Cordon, and you find a chest, I, I like to use the one right next to um, Zdorovich right down there, and I store in there items i want to repair later you find a good gun you can't use it now because it's broken stash it for later till you can use it once you have a little hq you want to start performing tasks for any npc in your area any so that's a mix between main story missions which are the yellow or gold icons on your little pda map or the white icons which are just random tasks you want to do as much of these as possible because when you do a task, you have a chance to unlock a stash location. The NPC will give you an area in the game where there's a stash. If you go there, you have a very good chance of getting a lot of great starting gear. You know, the toolboxes, the tool sets, the drug making kit. These are all things that you need to progress the game. You keep returning, keep making your money. And then it gets down to the progress area. Have you found toolkits yet? If not, you want to do a couple other things here. You can either find the Taz 194 and 20 uh, buckshots for it and give it over to Hip in Cordon to receive tools. That's an easy way to get tools. Or you can purchase 20 charges of Nemiroth. I think that's eight bottles maybe. And you can give it to Spirit in Yantar for tools. You can also attempt the lottery in Dead City by disguising yourself and you can or you could skip this step i've never done this so i can't even tell you what this will accomplish the whole idea though is once you get all your crafting sets and you have a bunch of money thirty thousand rubles you eventually want to get the psi helmet from sakharov in yantar once you have the psi helmet and all your early toolkits then you can consider yourself able to move to mid game Remember, you need five basic tool sets to turn into an advanced tool set. You will not be able to repair good guns and armor without these tool sets. You won't be able to make stuff. You need these tool sets. So do not even progress down this chart till you get all that. I'm going to post a link to this picture so you have it for yourself. Because it has great information like different areas that you could do easy tasks at, ones you want to avoid, um, and yeah, generally good stuff. In mid game now, the first thing you want to do, the first thing I'm going to do, I have not made it to mid game myself yet, is make yourself a little hideout somewhere. This guy likes setting up in Yanov. I will have to go look at that and see if I like it. Stuff you want for this game is a medium armored outfit, night vision goggles, a medium mask, a travel backpack, definitely a rifle by this point, and a good sidearm. Not just a 45 pistol with low ammo. You want something substantial. The entirety of the mid game revolves around you getting your equipment right. If you are not confident in your equipment now, you have two forks in the road. Yes, you start completing the gatekeeper barrier storyline task in Army Warehouse. You want to shut down the miracle machine for an optional updating areas of Jupiter and Xanton. Probably good to do. Can you keep going to Radar Lab X? If no, you want to turn back. A lot of these things turn you back to doing more tasks in these areas, getting more gear, building your stash, getting stronger, repairing good weapons. 
when you're finally able to upgrade, you know, all your upgrades, upgrade your PDA, upgrade your echolocator, upgrade your night vision, your backpacks. At this point, you should have all the tools. Then, have you turned off the Brain Scorcher? If no, there is no turning back. It's only yes at this point. You must turn it off. And then you will enter late game. Again, Stalker Gamma is a big open world sandbox. You could do this in any order you want. This is just suggestions. Late game, all it says is congratulations. You have reached the late game stage and may continue the storyline at your leisure. Or any other goals you want to achieve. Those who have found expert tools may consider finding and repairing these category equipment below. Sniper rifles. Heavy and exosuit outfits. Heavy masks. With all this gear, you will be able to make it north, deep into the zone, deep into the heart of Chernobyl, where all the great equipment, enemies, missions, everything is. And you have achieved top tier apex victory in Stalker Gamma. Not many have made it here. You can brag to your friends. You can go to your bridge meetings. You can go play blackjack and brag to the dealer that you made it. You did this. And you could pat yourself on the back because you followed an amazing guide by watching this video, by following Aldorian's comprehensive chart of many prioritized anomaly tasks and progressions for Gamma, aka a company picture. Check in the description below for the link for that picture. Thank you all for watching this video. Let me know what you think in the comments if this was helpful. The biggest takeaway is you need to find the tool sets. That is your main job early on. Once you have the tools, you can get the gear. Once you have the gear, you can progress deeper into the game and you will be having a good time. Thank you for watching. Hit that thumbs up. It helps out a lot. The, the channel will only go places if you help by giving a thumbs up by subscribing if you like, and by sharing this video with someone that has this game or wants to play it. Thank you for watching.